सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अ ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग प्रॉब्लम बी डेट वॉज डेडली लेजर फ्रॉम एड यू राउंड वन थर्टी फोर राइट डेट वॉज अ टिप टू सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन द प्रॉब्लम वी हैव बिन गिवन अ ग्रेड सो लेट्स कॉपी अ ग्रेड टू अवर ड्रॉइंग पैड एंड वी कैन स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम right so in the problem we have been given a n cross m grid right we start at square 1 comma 1 and we have to reach square n comma n so we initially start at 1 comma 1 and we have to reach n comma m before we reach uh, to n comma m we can make four moves right we can make four moves either we can make up move a down move a right move or a left move right so to reach from 1 comma 1 up to n comma m we can use these four moves but before we reach uh, n comma m there is a laser somewhere in the grid there is a laser somewhere in the grid right whose power is equal to d so power of laser laser power is equal to d right so it will attack all the squares where gap of the squares is less than equal to d right wherever the distance from laser is less than equal to d that square will be attacked for example let's say my d is equal to 3 then the following square will be attacked the following square will be attacked the following square will be attacked similarly we have 1 2 and 3 so this will be also be attacked this will be attacked this will be attacked we have 1 2 and 3 so this will be attacked this will be attacked similarly this will be attacked right so you can kind of see the pattern so you can see it kind of forms a rhombus right you can see a rhombus here so so you start from 1 comma 1 and you want to reach n comma m but you cannot pass through the <coughs> rhombus so that is the problem so the problem is start from 1 comma 1 and reach n comma m without passing through the rhombus without passing through rhombus and use minimum number of moves and use minimum number of moves right <coughs> so that is a problem so how can we solve this so to uh, solving this is really easy all you need to think about are the impossible cases right all you need to think are impossible cases right if you can think about impossible cases And that is enough to solve the problem right for example uh, let's say the first case right let's say the first case in which we have a rhombus that is touching the top wall and the left that is touching the top wall and the left wall right so in this case you are at 1 comma 1 and the rhombus is cutting off n comma m right you can see that you cannot reach n comma m in any way right it is cutting off the rhombus is cutting off the second part of the grid right so you cannot in any way go from 1 comma 1 to n comma m right so this is impossible so let's go to the second case right so in second case let's paste the grid so in the second case the rhombus is attacking the right wall and the bottom wall rhombus is attacking the right wall and the bottom wall right again as you can see we have 1 comma 1 here and we have n comma m here right as you can see again n comma m is being separated from 1 comma 1 right there is no way to reach from 1 comma 1 to n comma m right because the rhombus is cutting off n comma m so the following case is also impossible similarly you can generate two more cases we can generate case 3 and case 4 similarly let's see here something like this right the drawing is not up to scale right so don't think of this as a drawing that is up to scale so let's say the third case when your rhombus is attacking your left wall and your right wall then your left wall and your right wall right so in this case you start from 1 comma 1 and need to go to n comma m and again as you can see 
the rhombus is cutting off the two points. The rhombus is cutting off the two points, right? So in this case, also cannot use D chain comma M. So this is also impossible. Similarly, if you think about case four, due to symmetry, there is the second case, right? You can use symmetry for that. Uh, sorry, not the right one. We have a rhombus that is lying the top wall and the bottom wall, right? So again, you have your one comma one and n comma m and again the rhombus is cutting off the two points so you again you cannot reach right so these four are the only impossible cases right so now we have thought about impo impossible cases now but what we need to find is when it is possible we want to find the minimum number of moves right we also want to find the, find the minimum number of moves so how can we find the minimum number of moves how can we do that so to do that you can draw for examples and you can see that the minimum number of moves the minimum number of moves are always equal to n plus m minus 2 why so let's see example case right let's say your rhombus is attacking the top wall and the right wall right so something like this if it is the case then you can just go from the bottom left side. You can just go from the bottom left side. And right? you can just start from here and go from the bottom left side. Right? And the, and the number of moves are n minus m minus 2. Similarly, if you try to try to draw some other case, if you try to draw some other case. Right? For example, it is on the bottom right side, so something like this. Then you can again take the top right side and again reach the end using n minus m minus 2 moves, right? So, so in any case, you can just hug the wall and complete your journey in n plus m minus 2, right? Unless the points are separated. So there, there are four cases when you cannot reach uh, n comma m because the rhombus will cut off two points. If the rhombus is not cutting off two points, then you can either hug, hug from the top, uh, the top, uh, the top right wall or the bottom left wall, right? And you can reach an nm in n plus m minus two moves, right? So, <clears throat> and that is the solution. So, so you just need to check for these four cases. And if uh, you see any of these cases, then, then the answer is minus one. Otherwise the answer is n plus m minus two, right? <coughs> also, so how can you check for these cases, right? So as you can see, right? As you can see uh, in, the, uh, in the drawing, right? Uh, if my laser is at some point x, then the four endpoints will be right. Let's say this is x comma y, right? Then my top end endpoints will be how much? It will be x minus d, x plus d. It will be y minus d and y plus d. And you can use these four points to check intersection with the walls. You, we can use these four points to check intersection with the walls. So let me show you the code for this. How we can do that? So here is my variables n comma m x comma y and d right i take input sorry for that so yeah so as our grid is zero index so i will i will do x minus minus y minus minus one because i am using a zero index grid right you can also ignore this and instead use one here right it's all up to you yeah so these are my endpoints my top endpoint x1 that is x minus d my bottom endpoint x2 my left endpoint y1 and my right endpoint y2 then these are my four cases, right? When they are uh, they are touching the top wall and the bottom wall, they are touching the left wall, left and the right wall. They are touching the top and the left wall, and they are touching right and the uh, bottom wall, right? So you can just check for these four cases. If uh, you see either of these cases, the answer is minus one. Otherwise, the answer is n plus m minus two, right? So that is the solution. And if you guys have some other solution, feel free to leave it in the comments for others. And if you guys have a doubt, feel free to join my Discord server or uh, leave your query in the comments and I will be more than happy to answer your guys' doubts. So yeah, that is it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Also, if you guys don't know, Continue Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees five lakhs 
and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves also you don't need to worry if you guys think ki yeah, ko bhi coding aati nahi hai maybe fresher mein ko bilkul nahi aata the course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly uh, i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah, be sure to sign up for this and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.